Hello and welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival with your host, The Gamesman. Okay folks, so today we have a plan to go back to Ningus. Um, now I have a cunning idea on what's going to be happening, so basically let's get on with the job. We're going to hit the V key here, go back into the normal view, and I'm going to show you what I've been preparing for um, right here in this ship. So, if we take a look in here, we've got a whole lot of objects ready to go for a base. Um, armor plating also, I have done a little bit of armor plating, but because this ship here is quite diagonal, um, let me see, here we go, um, yeah, we can, we can put armor plating on parts like this but it's going to look a bit odd um, and on the diagonal parts you can't put them on diagonally which is a bit of a shame that would be really cool to have diagonal um, armor plating too so anyway um, I've done what I can basically um, put them on the thrusters here and along the side so we don't lose any of these thrusters um, and that's pretty much it. So let's throw that guy back in here. Um, also over in the inventory here you can see that we have all of our stuff ready for a hover vehicle with weapons on it. Uh, ready to build on Ningus. So, ah, what did I just do that for? Okay, we're going to throw those back in here. Um, let me see, quickly. There we go, that should be it. Apart from those. Excellent, okay. So, that one there can go in as well. Alright, we've got everything for a hover vehicle, and we have everything for a new starter base. I'm bringing along a few um, extra bigger uh, Promethium fuel packs. Actually, I thought I did. Where did they go? Let's go and take a quick look. definitely brought some along with me um, maybe I've put them in a different container here let's just have a quick look we're definitely not there oh here they go here the they're in my inventory <laughs> okay so yes I brought along an extra um, few large fuel packs for the excursion so let's Oh, and also brought along a bunch of food as well. So we're not going to starve ourselves silly on Ningus. Let's get up there. And we can already see it starting to rise in the, um, in the atmosphere here. So let's get on. What I'll do is I'll put a cut in the video here. And I'll get back to you guys when we have arrived near the drone base. I'll see you in a minute. Okay folks, so here we are, we are on Ningus and we are approaching the Rados power station here. Um, what I'm intending on doing is taking over this power station as a, um, just a temporary base really. Uh, there's a drone hanging around here so we're going to sort him out. And we've also got another one coming in over here to say hello. So let's get down um, and try and find this other drone and we'll sort him out. Maybe he's gone over here, possibly. Right. Okay, this guy here is coming in for a closer look. Maybe not. Okay. So we've got stuff shooting at us here already. And we've got more drones hanging around, so let's just quickly go and take these guys out. Excellent, okay. Wow, we have uh, certainly got a collection of drones here. Come on. Excellent, okay, there's two down. And this guy's about to clear off over the other side of the mountain here. Yeah, we'll leave him be. Right. So, let's put our ship down 
here somewhere where we're not going to get shot at for now right possibly okay I, I can hear the grunters all right so we'll turn the power off and jump out here uh, wow well, jetpack okay I can't move for some reason um yeah there we go something went a bit weird there but uh, yeah right so just having a quick look around now we're gonna get this out straight away and we're gonna place it right on down maybe behind the sky yeah, we'll put it right down here. Fantastic. Okay, so this is the start of our hover vessel. Now let's get the blocks out, and we're just going to build a little bit of a platform here for it. Okay, here we go. And along here. Um, we'll make this the front end of it. So, let's, oh I forgot the legs didn't I? Um, maybe we don't need legs because we've got the hover engine. Uh, we'll see. Right, let's get a few of these out. Pop them in. Um, and we're also going to be keeping an eye out for any nasty drones, okay. Gonna poke a few of these. Um... There we go. A few of these thrusters in here somewhere. Um... Definitely gonna make the back end of it a little bit bigger. That will probably do it. Okay. Now let's get this repair tool out and put another thr thruster in here. Excellent, okay. There we go, so we've got the two bottom ones on, and yes indeed we do have another drone coming in to take a peek at us. But we'll destroy this guy. Excellent, okay, so he's a goner, right. Fantastic, okay. Um, let's get on with the job here. Uh, let's put our cockpit in. Um, I'm going to take that RPG out for a minute. So. Oh, fantastic, excellent. This is the um, the cockpit with the, the bottom where you can see through, which is quite cool. Let's get that on there. And... We are going to probably extend it out one more actually on either side. Now this is just basically for a little test of um, whether or not the hover vessel here will automatically protect our ship um, or the guns that I'm going to put on it will automatically fire when the drones come into um, range so we'll soon find out here we go okay so I'm just gonna start building the walls here here we go and let's get our slopey blocks out here and we're gonna be putting these on like I so yeah, we'll go right to the end here, okay. Right, now, I'm going to make some sort of wings on this guy as, um, yeah, I didn't bring my triangular blocks, but never mind. Um, I'm going to put some wings on this guy as some sort of 
platforms for these turrets. I'm not too sure how big they are um, on this vessel, so we will find out in a short minute. We'll just get this these sides on here. And we're going to start putting the guts in in a minute. Here we go. Right. So what have we got in the way of things to put in here? So we've got the generator, we've got the RCS unit, and we need some power. Um, I'm going to take that sniper rifle out for a hot minute. So we're going to get the generator, and we're going to put it in sideways here. You can go right there. A couple of these RCS units. Um, this one here can go sideways, like so. And what else do we have? We have the oxygen and the oxygen station. The lights I'm not too worried about at the moment. Um, little door we may end up putting on, on the back. So let's get the oxygen unit right in here. And this guy here can go like so. Okay, I had it perfectly, there we go. Excellent, right. So, we have the guts of it done, the door, um, hmm. Might as well put a wee door right in here, why not? So we can access the middle of it. Um, wow. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I shouldn't worry about the door. Uh, yeah. It's not the prettiest of all things, but it's going to get the job done regardless. So, let's just pop this in here like so, and um, let me see. Yeah, okay. We'll get these... Where's this one here? Okay. We'll get these side wings on. Um, so one, two, three along, and on the other side as well. Okay. Just keeping an eye out for um, any drones hanging around, which doesn't seem to be at the moment, which is cool. Okay. So that like that. like so and just a couple of little wee platforms here um, that'll do and maybe yeah all right like that I do realize it's starting to get a bit darker now so I'll do my best to finish the job off here and okay like that and like that sweet okay excellent right now we need to get some sideways movement so I'm just going to quickly punch a hole right here We are probably going to end up taking that door off. Um, excellent, there we go. And another one on this side here. Excellent, okay. Spin that around so we've got sideways momentum. We have up momentum. We do not have any downwards thrust yet. So. Okay, that should be good. Right there, and over on this side. Fantastic, okay. So let's quickly rip this door out. If we can, probably gonna have to do it from here. Yep. 
All right. Um. Shut. How do we shut this thing? Maybe we need to move this. Actually. Okay, this door seems to be bugged in here. Um, okay, there it is there. Excellent, okay, so we've got that done. Now let's chuck a couple of... Whoa, okay. Mongrel. What did he blow up? Okay, he blew a block up there by the look of it. Oh boy. Okay, so night time is upon us here. Um, what I'm going to do is I will put a cut right in the video here and I'll get back to you guys when it is daytime. I'll see you in a short minute. And welcome back to another day on Ningus. So, um, I've sort of finished off the hovercraft here. I know it's a mess. Uh, it's like a little battle tank, really. Um, I've put a few armor plates on it um, and the turrets. Now, um, I did try to test it out, and what happened was there was a few grunters in here, so it started shooting the wall out um, during night time. So, what I'm going to do now is I have already taken the enemy core out. It was right underneath this elevator here. Um, but we're going to go in and we're going to head upwards and we're going to take... Um, well, we're going to go and scout out what's up here anyway. Hopefully take out uh, any other enemy that's up there and place our guns. So before I do that, I'm going to jump in here and we're going to turn this guy on and we're going to leave him on. Um, we'll make sure that he's got the power he needs. So he's got a... Yep, he can take a couple more of those. Now, let's go in quickly and place our core down. Now when we do that, I believe we may start getting attacked by drones. Um, it may not be instantaneous, but let's get that in there. Now, We'll get our pulse uh, laser rifle out. I only have one more. Um, we were attacked during the night time. Uh, the other thing I want to do is put away this drill that I've got here. Okay, so let's get upstairs and see if we can't take out any more of well, any sort of aliens that are up here anyway. So, okay, we've got another one over there. Excellent. Right, what about upwards? Okay, onwards and upwards. Turrets are dead, thank goodness. Right, we may not have any more aliens up here. This may be it. Yes, so let's head back down quickly and go and grab the turrets and we'll place those on the base here. And we're going to power this guy up. Just for uh, some defences of the area. Now, here we go. Now uh, let me see, so we're going to take a couple of those and a couple of those, and we'll take a couple of those as well. Alright, let's get back up the top and place our guns. I should actually bring some of those large fuel packs while I'm at it. There we go. Okay, and we've still got a bit more. Um, also, the medic station we can place inside as well. Um, and large constructor because they blew off our um, the the last one that came from over here. Not only did it take out a block, but it also took out one of our weapons as well. We don't have any resources at this time to be able to craft that, but we may as well get things prepared. So let's head back up to the. Oh, actually, look. I mean, we may end up having. Yeah, here we go. So it might be okay. So let's head up, and we'll go and place these guns up top here. Let me see. Excellent, here we go. Right, so we've got a good view over the um, ranges here. Whoa, okay. Automatically, we've got guys coming in here to attack us. So, yeah. Come on. Okay, 
Okay, you're dead guy. Excellent. Okay, we've got this turret up, but we don't have any power on it yet. Um, let's put up a few more. So we'll get a couple of cannons. Put him over this side here, I believe. And we're going to turn him around that way. Okay. Also, we'll probably just do the one more. Um, and we'll make that a plasma turret. Uh, which way would be the best way to turn this guy around, orientate him? Probably facing the back half, like so. Um, and yeah, I might as well put one there. And so we are looking pretty good now. I reckon that we will be pretty well defended by these turrets here. Um, let's head down and grab these resources. Okay. Excellent. We'll grab all of his goodies. And we don't have any more need to keep the hover vessel going now, so let's go and turn this guy off. Excellent, okay. Um, so they actually did a bit more damage as well here by the look of it that drone that was over there and these guys didn't even kick in which is a bit of a shame but oh well um, all right let's get up in here hit that jetpack and we are going to put these down um, somewhere in here so I might knock this block out here And then we're going to go and do a bit of a loot run through this place. So we've got our medical station and our generator. We will just put right on in here, I believe. I um, don't really want to leave it in front of these walls, so what I might do is just poke a little hole through here. Hopefully this is not the outside of the building, but we'll find out. Oh, it is. Bugger. Alright. Um, okay, we'll leave, like, leave it like that for the meantime. Um, for now, we shall place this guy here. I'd say right in the middle, pretty much. We'll just leave it there. Excellent. Okay. So let's dump our stuff into the constructor here. And... What do we need for a pulse? Okay, so we need still need a, uh, a few more bits and pieces for that, but we'll go and give this a loot job and chuck these all in here as well. And these ones here. And we're going to go and put some put some power in in a minute, but I just want to do a bit of a loot run first, actually. We can chuck them in now. Here we go, and we'll give it some power. Um, what is through here? I see another elevator going up. Or is it going down? It's going down. Okay, so it's just oxygen, which is cool. Let's go and have a peek down here. And we've got another door. Okay. Didn't know this was here, but yes it is. Excellent. Right. Let's head back up, and I, I'd say that the same's over this side here as well. We do not need all of these, so let's take them out. Gather any more resources that we can from these guys. Okay. We've got a lot of generators down um, attached to these columns over here as well. Where did I just see them? Yeah, right here. So that is a bonus. We don't need all those generators, so we can half a sows at a later stage as well. There we go. So this is going to be our new base of operations uh, for the attack on the drone base. Now, I'm only going to attack the base. I'm not going to take the core out. I'm going to leave the core in there. Because... 
I want the drones to come over and say hello to us over here. Um, I think it's a pretty good opportunity for us to be able to, to do some uh, farming of the drones anyway. So I think that's quite a good idea. We'll leave the drones coming at us. We've, we're pretty well defended now. And wow, excellent. Okay, so we'll definitely be able to get that other plasma uh, cannon on our ship anyway. So that is brilliant. Let's take the rest of these guys out. Okay. Excellent. Two more. And we definitely don't need these uh, oxygen tanks in here, so we'll pop them out. We don't need them. In fact, I do believe I brought some with me anyway, so... Cool. Okay, we've got a sneaky drone sitting up there. He's too afraid to come at us. <laughs> so... Let's get back up, and I believe that is pretty much all the loot that we have um, for this, yeah, for this um, factory here. Okay, okay, so that's definitely that, and these guys are all good. What was that? Nothing down there, okay. So this is it. Um, brilliant. I, I'm absolutely chuffed that we've been able to take this over. Uh, just for the simple fact that, like I said, we, we'll, we may have drones coming at us here. And if we do, these guys will shoot them out of the sky for us. And we'll go and collect their resources. So that's brilliant. Um, what else do we have? We can do a bit of repairing here of my mess that I... Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Uh, the mess that I created um, when we blew them, uh, blew blew these uh, defences off in the first place. So, yeah. All right. Excellent. Now this structure looks really cool, by the way. I uh, love the way it's designed. Um, now let's head on in and turn on our power, and we'll get the rest of these resources into the constructor at the same time. So, let's do that. Throw them in there like this. And we're going to have to do some ore refining as well by the look of it. Um, and so we need advanced CPUs, power coils and arrestrum. Arrestrum we have right outside the door, so that's really cool. The power coils, um, sathium. Okay, we don't have any sathium. But we can bring those over anyway, so that's no worries at all. Just wondering that um, when we're off this this base here, will they come over and attack us if we are on, on uh, not Omicron, um, Akua? So yeah, not too sure, not too sure. But anyway, let's go and see what else we've got to put in here. Okay, so we've got our oxygen. We don't really need that. We've got about a hundred of them floating around. Uh, cargo box, large fuel tank. We don't really need that as well. And we've got a couple of cores here. So we'll keep those and we'll go and... Might need the jetpack here. There we go. So... Alright, here's this guy. Let's turn that power on. And... Hopefully, our turret's on as well. Oh, here we go. Let's just turn the whole lot on. Yes, look at this. Absolutely brilliant. So this we can live with for now. Um, and, I mean, the reason... The other reason why I did um, do that is because if we die over on the drone base. Um, I want to be able to respawn somewhere quite close to it. So this is perfect for us. Absolutely perfect. Brilliant. And we've got a constant flow of resources coming in as well, which is really cool. Now all of these power um, generators, I'm not sure about them. I think we may end up turning 
all of them off apart from one perhaps so let's see what we've got here we've got about <laughs> oh my goodness and we've got a lot of them anyway so let's get these guys off and we're not using any power by the look of it um, okay they're one percent now right let's get these guys off be cool if there was like a shortcut key here but uh, nope excellent okay so that's all of those off apart from one and that's put us up to 11 percent but I believe yeah century guns can go off as well and that's putting us down to 10% give or take and what else do we have? we've got two oxygen tanks, we only need the one well actually we'll turn them both off because we haven't put our one down yet our medical station can go off a bunch of lights um, and those containers Alright, so we are running at quite a high power usage here. Um, could be because there is antennas um, and some decor. Now, I'd just like to give a big shout out to Sibia for um, your comment. Thank you. I hope I said your name correctly. Um, thank you very, very much for your comment. Uh, now, the decor does take up power, and that was something that I was unaware of. So things like your uh, radar dish and your antennas all your little panels that you have do consume power even though they're not um, in the power menu here so all of those back at the base on Arcua I have removed and we are down to 1% power usage down there now which is fantastic um, and we've got plenty of power left I'm not sure why it's using 8% there's probably a lo load of yeah well these ones here take 5 each so uh, five, yeah, five. Um, but yeah, there's an absolute ton of lights which we don't need. So, and the century guns, I'll definitely go and remove those at some stage. We don't need those guys. Um, that'll save us having to come in and turn turn them off and on all the time. Fantastic. Right. So, let's jump up here. There we go. And we're going to hit the V button. And this is where we're going to leave it for this episode so in the next episode we're going to go over there to that drone base this time I know I promised it last time in the um, last episode but I thought well you know if we can get a foothold on this area then we don't have to stress out about things like a ship getting blown up and also mining resources without defense around them um, so yes in the next episode we'll go over and have a look at this drone base and we'll go inside um, so yeah I'd Really looking forward to that one. Hope we don't die again, but no doubt we will. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching this episode. And if you like the episode, please hit that like button. Um, share and subscribe to the channel as you see fit for more, more videos of Imperium to come in the future. Until then, take care, and we'll see you in episode number 22. See you later. Bye-bye.